Hey guys, if you're serious about taking your Madden game to the next level, head on over to patreon.com slash maddenhelp12. You will receive the best blitzes, schemes, tips, glitches, money plays, and defenses anywhere. So if you're interested, head on over to the link in the description below. What's up guys, we're back again with part 2 out of the single back ace out of the run balance playbook. In this video, the play we're going to be going over is the PA stretch. Uh, the only adjustments you want to really do are make the tight end on a streak. Uh, you can actually put both of them on a streak or a fade for high point passes. Backside guy either on a slant or an in route. Uh, and then if you're going to put the tight end on the left on a uh, streak, you want to swing the running back. Uh, but you see against cover two, we're going to be able to, to throw that ball deep down the field. Uh, even if it gets a cloud flat or a curl flat because the way the route is built, it's going to get behind all the zones. Now you can run it to either side. Um, what I like to do is swing the running back and fade both tight ends just because I can get uh, a high point pass off uh, as my base setup and then uh, you could just play off of that but you see we also have the tight end underneath really quick uh, you want to make sure that that guy who's running that uh, angle route uh, receiver has very high how, uh, route running so he can run clean uh, crisp routes and the reason I like to utilize a swing route out of the backfield is because post patch it is very good um, People don't expect it a lot because it's, it's coming from the running back. They expect more of a drag to be hitting the flats. Uh, but that's the setup that I like to do is swing the running back uh, and then bomb them down the field uh, if they're not respecting that cover two. Uh, I mean, if they are in cover two, I like to bomb them downfield. If they're in cover three, that swing route to the running back is actually going to be open. Uh, it's going to be open all day against a curl flat. But uh, you, like I said, you run to either side. Definitely a cover two beater. It also beats cover three, but not as consistent as it does cover two. But I definitely hope you guys enjoyed part two of the mini scheme PA stretch. If you did, please be sure to leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel for more great content. And be sure to check out Madden247.com. And if you'd like to become a patron uh, and support me directly, head on over to patreon.com. Not only will you be supporting me, but you're going to be getting the best content that you're going to find anywhere online formatted.